What's going on everybody? It's JRPG Enthusiast here, Shadow Elite, back again with another video. Alrighty, so we have first gameplay of the new Valkyria Chronicles, Valkyria Chronicles Azure Revolution. And the demo went up and, oh, um, for a Japanese because the um, Japanese, they got the HD remaster for uh, Valkyria Chronicles for the PS4 and it came with the demo. Therefore, gameplay of Azure Revolution has come out and the gameplay I've seen it's it's weird it's a demo it's a demo okay but you know it's 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 kind of weird uh, I just let, let me get some stuff out the way first Sega Sega why do you feel the need to fuck with this series okay why do you feel the need to change up things to really just go the other way with this series whenever you get the chance I don't understand your your your, your whole thing all right I've come to accept it with the Sonic franchise okay I've come to accept that Maybe one or two Sonic games that come out, if ever, are honestly going to be good out of, out of the shovelware of crap that you spew out for the series now. But with Valkyria Chronicles, why? The first one was a, it was a masterpiece. Why did you fuck with it? And then first now, starting with the first game, you move it over to the PSP. It was on the PS3, you move Valkyria Chronicles to to the PSP. Stupid. Retarded. Dumb. Not a good choice. And then, with the second one, you decided to go seriously hardcore cliche. And if I'm saying cliche now, back then it was even more cliche. You put it in the high school setting. You had the happy-go-lucky main protagonist. You had the ditzy side girl blonde. You had the smart intellectual pulling his glasses up every 10 seconds. Smart guy. You really went hardcore to it appeased your fans over there in Japan, but they, they didn't even care for it that much. So then, the third game comes out, you still keep it on the PSP? It's like, why are you still keeping this franchise on the PSP when it looked beautiful? cell shaded graphics looked amazing on the PS3. You still keeping it on the um PlayStation Portable. Okay, the third one, you went back to Roots for the first one, and that was great. I love the third game. I love Valkyrie Chronicles 3. I thank God for the frame translation patch for the people that put their heart and soul into that patch that they brought it out because God knows you ain't gonna do it, Sega. Shit, you ain't gonna freaking um dub Valkyrie Chronicles 3 ever. I, I highly doubt that. Unless unless Valkyrie Chronicles 3 remaster comes out in Japan for some something, something like that. I don't think we're ever going to get Valkyria Chronicles 3 officially. And then, oh, you made a good choice, Sega. You ported Valkyria Chronicles 1 last year to P to the PC via Steam. And that was great. That was a good choice, Sega. <laughs> Bravo to you, Sega, for honestly making a good choice. But you know what, Sega? Where in that Steam release were people saying, or in general, that they wanted something different out of the franchise? That they wanted something else? That they didn't want the strategy RPG nature from the franchise? Huh? I'm listening to say it because from the people that I talk to, from the things I've seen in comment sections and articles and forum posts, message boards, nobody disliked the strategy RPG aspect of Valkyria Chronicles. But now you want to fuck with it. You want to do something completely different. You want to make it pure action oriented. I don't understand the reason. I don't understand the point. If it ain't broke, you ain't got to fix it. You just got to refine it. Make it better. Add to it. Put some bacon in there. Put some roasted um, peppers or some shit like that in there. You know, do something good. Put some cheese on that bitch, you know? But no, don't, don't, don't redefine the whole damn thing and give me something else entirely. Anyway, I know I'm speaking a little bit negatively about it, but the truth is I'm not really all that upset with the new gameplay. I think it's okay. It just needs to be a little bit more refined. But as I said with Final Fantasy 15 episode Deuce K, Douchebag K, whatever it's called, um, it's a demo. It's very much a demo. So the gameplay that we got is it's it's like they completely took out the whole turn-based style of the games. Like, the whole, um, you know, strategy strategy aspect of the games. And I gotta admit, okay, when I first played Valkyria Chronicles 1 on the PS3, I loved it. I was, in, I, I, I was absolutely enthralled with the game. But then I played it on Steam, and then I realized th th there's one thing I didn't like about it, and that was the enemy turns. The enemy turns took way too long, and it was just annoying 
to watch them take their turns. And I was like, ugh, okay, I gotta track through this. And then if you did one thing wrong, kind of, you kind of fucked up everything, and then you lost the character, and then it's pretty much like a strategy RPG. You gotta start the game, you gotta start the battle off from the very beginning. But that's pretty much alleviated by just having a fast forward option. No big deal, no need to freaking rebuys the whole battle system. Sega, what the fuck? Okay. Or the reason that they possibly could have went through with this is because they know Westerners, they like more action-oriented games instead of turn-based stuff, so they wanted to make it go in a complete action route. Which, nowadays, I've seen some sales, like Japanese um, games, they do a lot better off in North America than they actually do in Japan. Like, you get more sales in America than you do in Japan. That's because America is bigger than Japan, but, you know... It, it, it's like you can't mess with the core things of the franchise, you know? Okay, so on to what I think about the gameplay, honestly. Okay, it's okay. It's pretty much, like I said before, it got rid of the strategy RPG asset. No more selecting units on the map. You're playing with three. Well, so far, you're only playing with um, three um, characters, and you can switch between them anytime you want. And okay, that's cool. I, I, I like that. But the combat seems a little bit stiff. Again, it's a demo, so, you know, maybe it could be more fluent when the actual final game comes into play. And this is probably why they did it, because they know that this wasn't going to be received too well. So they wanted to see what would happen. They put it out there, and they'll probably revise it. I mean, I don't think they're that stupid, but eh, who knows what could happen. Okay, so uh, something that the uh, demo showcased, or rather the person whose channel of which I got this footage from, he showcased it, and I'll have a link to his channel down in the description. He said that when you're attacking, you can't cancel out of an attack until like a dodge roll or something like that. And that's just, okay, what the fuck? Why the hell not? I mean, that's basic action JRP, not action game premise that you can dodge roll while you're attacking i mean like why would you not want to do that it just makes it feel more stiff and heavy than it needs to be it also seems you have long range combat and close quarters combat and of course long range you'll use your weapons the sniper rifle and whatnot and close range you'll be more in the action setting which you'll be using your melee weapons your swords and whatever else have you and you'll be attacking which is okay that's pretty cool that's not too bad i mean ultimately the battle system doesn't look too bad, honestly. I, I I'm not I'm not saying that I'm completely I completely hate it or something like that. Because first of all, I have to play it for myself in order to honestly call if I hate it or not. But from what I'm seeing, it's not that bad. I mean, okay, sure, I'm a little bit disappointed at the strategy aspect of moving units on the map, so strategically placing your units places is gone. But the gameplay that we got here doesn't look like a complete deal breaker to me if they polish it fine tune it make it more fluent make it more exciting make it more it, it also seems like the attacks weren't registering that much like he was just hitting the the hitting the enemy and it doesn't look like he was actually hitting them i'm not too sure about that i mean it, it, it looked it looked stiff it looked weird so again it's a demo it's definitely, they'll definitely be taking player feedback, they'll be doing a survey, and they'll see what works, what doesn't work, because I don't think they're going to go and re-phase the entire battle system, because I think if they did that, it would probably be another year off from release, because it's supposed to be releasing this year in Japan, winter of 2016, bullshit. Anyway, it's going to come out in, it's going to come out in Japan in 2017, and we might get it sometime next year. So overall, do I like the gameplay? Honestly, yes. It doesn't seem that bad, yeah. It's pretty much just the action-based um, side of Valkyria Chronicles that we are familiar with instead of going on the overhead route. And that's that's not too much a bad thing. of a bad thing. It's just that you really didn't need to go that way with it. I'm not sure. Like I said, gotta play it for myself. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? I think a lot of you might honestly hate it and you're not big fans of it. I'm not sure. I really want to know. And guys, I will see you guys next time. Peace.